Hey guys, it's Terry from The Quarter Acre, and I just wanted to give you a quick update. I promised you one. I'm a little late on it um, because it's taking longer to do this whole IEP thing than um, I had originally thought it would. So here's the update. My son did his six hours of testing at the district office. They asked him all kinds of crazy questions like, do you ever start fires? <laughs> um, are you happy at home? Like crazy questions like that. Um, which he thought it was hilarious that they like asked multiple times if he likes fire or if he starts fires. He was like, um, what kids are answering yes to this mom? And I was like, um, I don't know, <laughs> but he did all that. He did the academic testing. Um, and then we got a call from a speech therapist. Now my son was in speech from kindergarten through second grade, and then he graduated out of the speech program. And so they're like, we're going to assess him for a speech, you know? And I'm like, well, he doesn't have any speech needs, but okay. And they're like, okay, it'll be like a four hour test and we'll do it in one big four hour chunk that he'll need to come in. And I'm like, but we know he doesn't have a speech problem. And they're like, yeah, we know, but we need to do the test. And I'm like, not really. We know, you know, I know it's well documented that he did speech and he's done. So I went ahead and opted out of that. So we're not going to be doing the speech. Uh, they said that someone would be calling me for an OT appointment. Um, if that's occupational therapy. And so I'm like, okay, we'll see what that is going to entail. We did have him meet with, um, uh, Miss M, we will call her his, um, previous therapist. And so she was meeting with him before to go over like social skills and how to make friends and just to be like a sounding board for him. And she hadn't seen him since we withdrew and began homeschooling at the beginning of this year because she is like contracted through the district and they wouldn't allow us to continue using her. And it was like, seriously tears. Uh, he had an hour with her and then I had an hour with her to talk to her. And she said something to me that was like, so heartwarming. She was like, I wish I could have you and your husband like teach classes. Like he doesn't need me. He's good. Like she goes, and I don't say that often. And, and so that was like really awesome. Like she was super impressed with the progress that he had made that we are in a pandemic. And moving forward, what I found out with IEPs is we are considered a, a private school. Um, our homeschool is. And so we still fall under the umbrella of the district when it comes to services, but not for my son, for me. So they're not going to offer anything to him, but they may offer me consultations. So that would be like, say we were, he was having trouble with a certain math concept. I could have some consultation time with someone who, a specialist who could help me, um, get better tools to help him. Or if he was having problems social emotionally, um, because of quarantining and all of that, we have to be pretty strict because of some health issues, um, in our family, both with myself and my daughter. And so, if he was struggling in that area with the social emotional quarantining effects, then I could go to Miss M and um, ask her questions on how I could better serve him. So basically, it's just like consulting for me is what we're going to be looking at for the year coming up as far as like what services he'll get with his IEP. My thought and feeling is that he's probably going to test out of a lot of the things that he needed before. Um, I could have just opted out of all this and like said, I don't want him to have an IEP anymore, but we plan on as of right now, returning to public school for his high school years. That's as of right now, who knows when we get there, what it's going to be like and what the world's going to be like. But, um, so I don't want to exactly cancel everything in case he needs some things when we, when he transitions back. So that's where we are now. We're in a waiting game. I will know in mid-April, or I will have the IEP meeting in mid-April, and we'll probably have a few more tests and things like that, and I'll keep you posted um, on those once they happen so that you can kind of understand the process in case you're going through a homeschool IEP situation like I am. I hope that you are having an amazing day, and be blessed.